Good afternoon. Over the past few days, President Obama has plunged into negotiations with congressional leaders in a last gasp effort to avoid a government shutdown and in multiple appearances in the White House briefing room. There's no reason why we should not get an agreement. He repeatedly has prodded hundreds of thousands of workers across the country uh, suddenly are without a paycheck. And lectured Congress on the horrors of a shutdown. For us to go backwards because Washington couldn't get its act together uh, is unacceptable. The president made calls on the budget talks as far back as February and has occasionally addressed it in speeches since then. We could end up having to shut down the government just at a time when the economy is starting to recover. But he did not take a high profile public role until this week and that gave his Republican critics an opening to accuse him of a failure to lead. And the president appears to be totally uninterested, uninterested in leading us to a bipartisan solution. Even some Democrats piled on. When the most powerful person in these negotiations, our president, has failed to lead this debate or offer a serious proposal. He has a tendency to stand back, uh, even when people are urging him to get more involved. Washington Post columnist Dan Balls says it's a pattern the president has shown in responding to the protests in Egypt and to taking military action in Libya. It was also on display in his delayed public response to last year's oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. But White House advisors insist the president simply chooses not to play by Washington's rules on rushing to every emergency. And his leadership style works, they say, noting his long record of legislative accomplishments. Balls says they have a point. Many times he has patience. Um, he does not live by the 24-7 news cycle that so many people in Washington live by. Uh, and he is prepared to take short-term hits if he thinks he's ultimately getting to the point that he wants the country to be. Now, the president is standing by, ready to make another statement if there is a deal. But I'll tell you, Harry, all indications here at the White House are that it's going to be a very long night. A nail-biter, to say the least. Chip Reed at the White House, thank you very much.